The energy has been so wacky, so strange that you are likely feeling like you are on another planet or living in another reality. I don't remember a time where everything seems so different. And I'm not talking so much about what I'm experiencing uh, physically through my five senses, but what I'm feeling internally as I continue to purge and to heal and to anchor more of my higher self. Reality just seems to be very, very different on an energetic basis, on a frequency basis. And that can be very, very disassociating and it's going to feel very, very unfamiliar. So if you feel like you're in like a no man's land kind of situation, just know that you are in the process of shedding the old you, which was tied to certain ways of doing and being and certain expectations and limiting beliefs. And you're stepping into a new you, which hasn't fully landed quite yet, but yet you could sense that it's here because it feels so, so very strange, so, so unfamiliar, which can lead to feelings of being uncomfortable. That's what I want to talk about in this video. How do we embrace this magnificent change on an energetic level when it feels so scary, feels so unfamiliar, feels like you're stepping into the unknown? Because that's exactly what's taking place. In order for us to move into a new world, into a new earth, meaning we don't physically go there, but what happens is we start to manifest it and we start to experience it on an energetic level. For that to happen, we need to cut the ties that bound us to the old way of being. So we've all had limiting beliefs and we've had we've been programmed that the world worked a certain way, that we had to behave a certain way, we had to act a certain way. And all of these thoughts, all of this programming was very, very limiting for us. It's like we were very, very constricted energetically. And that became comfortable because it was very predictable. We knew that if we acted a certain way, we could pretty much predict how others were gonna respond. So our reality was very known. And when things are very known, we feel a sense of comfort, right? So now something is happening where we are purging all of that old energy. We're awakening to the fact that we have been limiting ourselves, not consciously, but subconsciously through the programming and limiting beliefs. We've been keeping us our, ourselves small and that no longer resonates. All of a sudden, we want to be more authentic. We want to be more free. We want to be more in control of our lives. And that is us stepping away from this old constricted version that said, no, if we act this way and we behave this way, we'll be able to predict, right? Well, when we start to change that, when we start to become more free, when we start to become more confident, when we start to become more open, things start to become a little less predictable. And that's where it can get a little scary and a little freaky. So you may be experiencing some fear with that as you've got this internal, this intuitive nudge to start to be more open, more free, more authentic. You may start experiencing some reactions from people or some stimuli in your reality, some feedback that isn't quite what you expect. And the first thing that's going to happen is the ego is going to want to say, nope, let's go back to the way we were, because that way I can predict what's going to happen better and we don't have to feel so exposed being in this unknown, right? Have you had the, those feelings? If you have, definitely comment below because I know I've experienced that as well. You see, when we're venturing out into the unknown, it's like getting in a boat, you're heading off into the ocean, you don't know what's on the other side of that horizon, right? You have that fear as you lose the sight of the land that you left from and you're out in the ocean, you can't quite see where you're going. That feels really, really scary. Underneath, though, that fear is a sense of excitement. So be careful to not allow that sense of excitement to project out as fear. It may feel like fear in the beginning because your ego is going to say, I don't know what's happening. I can't predict the future. And that's going to bring up these emotions of fear. But what's really happening is you're starting to move through you these emotions of excitement. So don't 
translate them into fear, observe what your ego is doing and realize that it's just simply all of this newness that is unpredictable and unfamiliar that is really causing your ego to want to take a step back. That's the point where you really need to be aware of when that's happening because that's a crucial point in your expansion and your growth. You've got this amazing light entering your body, trying to find a home here. That light is you. It's your higher self. The fears are what's blocking it from being integrated. So when those fears come up, your higher self is asking you to direct your attention to it and allow yourself to fully feel it. Don't become it, but allow yourself to be present with it and fully feel it and know that that's an old aspect of you that's based on predictability. It's based on fear. It's based on safety that is simply coming up to be felt because it doesn't quite resonate with this new expansive unfamiliar type of energy so we want to assure that old aspect of us that it is okay so we want to get heart centered and we want to bring forward love and we want to sit right here and breathe with that fear energy and you will feel that energy release you'll feel it yield it will let go because it will feel the empowered version of you that is starting to come forward. You just have to give it that opportunity to experience that. And we can do that by breathing into the body, breathing into the heart, breathing into the solar plexus. As you continue to be more aware of that response or reaction to the expansive energies that are coming through, the more you're going to be able to navigate all of this purging, all of this growth, with grace. You're going to be able to just slide right through it like it's a natural process. You're not going to hit these big waves of resistance. You're going to not hit these big wobbly waves that are going to knock you off center and make you feel scared. You may experience some of that fear, but you're not going to become it. So when we are going through this changing reality, and this is really the, the first time that has happened here on earth, this big expansion is happening and it feels very scary and it feels unknown that is the beauty and that is the gift that is why you came to experience this so as you get pushed and expanded make sure you stay anchored to your body make sure you pull your energy back in here and not allow yourself to get lost out in your field when you get ungrounded like that you're going to start to feel fatigue. You're going to start to feel tired. Your energy is going to slow down. And that's going to feel really, really heavy. And your ego is going to want to play it safe and stay small in that heavy energy. So be aware of when you're feeling expansive. I've had a lot of people reach out to me saying that they feel very dreamlike, maybe even a little dizzy, vertigo. That's your field expanding. It's important to stay anchored in your body. Remember, your higher self is trying to land here and be integrated into your body. So work with that energy. Bring the focus back in here. Restore that energy flow. And you'll feel yourself literally like get your sea legs. The wobble will stop. You'll feel more anchored. You're going to feel more centered. And you're going to be able to navigate this process with so much more grace. This is an exciting time. It's a unique time. It's a time that you came here to experience. Again, we're stepping into frequencies and realities that we haven't seen here in this physical incarnation. So it does feel very foreign. It feels very strange. You're moving into the unknown, but that is part of the process. And again, that is the gold. That is what you came here to experience. Make sure that you experience it from the perspective of the human and stay anchored and grounded in your body. Stay hydrated. Breath work exercises throughout the day. Stay grounded and meditate. Reconnect with yourself to be able to pull that focus, that energy back in here to help your higher self continue to move through your central channel and help you to purge the density 
that is blocking its path. It's such a magical time. Sit back, enjoy the ride, fully feel whatever comes up, and watch as the new you lands and new earth manifests right before your eyes. If this video resonated with you. Please watch this one next. Thank you.